Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for the U.S. tech stocks for Tuesday, uh, November 3rd, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. We have a signal service on Patreon that you're welcome to join. And uh, if you do, you will get the full technical analysis of the commodities market. Um, the link is below. So let's start by looking at Netflix. So Netflix is running into support, major support, and uh, I chose to basically buy Netflix at this level today, targeting um, targeting the 50 moving average first. And if we break above that, then we are going to these highs again. Um, we are trading within this area here. We are trading sideways, and we'll probably do that for quite some time. But I like trading this because it's very predictable. Uh, a break below the uh, this uh, area here opens the door to the 200 moving average, which I doubt we'll ever get to because that means that most of the market is going to go significantly lower. And I don't think we're going to do that. Even though with the presidential election, that is not going to happen. Technical indicators are fairly bearish at this point. They are, but... If you look at the RSI, we are significantly oversold in Netflix stocks. That should say a lot because this is a very popular stock uh, that people do invest in. And when they see that it is very cheap, which this number basically is saying, they will basically flood and buy this stock. So that's why I entered this market. So we look at Microsoft, very similar to Netflix. We have found uh, support here at the 150 moving average, around $200 uh, dollar range, and that is a very, very symbolic number. So at this point, we are also oversold. This is very cheap at this point. I did not buy Microsoft, but I was um, thinking about it. I did buy uh, several other tech stocks like Twitter, which is also very oversold at this point. So um, MACD is uh, still quite bearish. Uh, RSI is ridiculously bearish at this point. Uh, CCI is indication that we are going to go higher. Same goes with Stochastic and the, uh, the Bollinger Band. So this is definitely an opportunity to buy this. Target, 50 moving average at 212. Break that, then we have that 223, and then did the highs here. Apple is uh, finding uh, support here at the 150 moving average, and uh, this is also stock that I chose to buy today because it's Apple and it is oversold. And every time Apple's oversold, that is basically a bargain. This is the best company in the world. It is uh, it is uh, the company with the most um, cash in its basically coffers, and that means that it is not going to go bankrupt. Basically, whatever happens to the world economy, this company is going to stick around and is going to go higher. Um, target, 50 moving average here, and after that, it is uh, 126, and then the highs here with a stop loss underneath. Technical indicators are uh, technically show, turning around. The CCI uh, and the stochastic uh, are flat at this point. MACD is fairly bearish, but this overshold position here is an indication that we may go significantly higher because, well, it's Apple and it's overshold and, and it is cheap. So you look at Amazon. Amazon broke... Um, through the 50, uh, 100 moving average on Friday, and now we're finding uh, a little bit of support here. We may go further. We need, may go to these lows, uh, which is just above the 150 moving average, which may, makes sense. But we are oversold. It is very cheap to buy Amazon stock, and this is also Amazon. So uh, a lot of possibilities here for tech stocks, and... When people say that uh, tech is probably going to go bust at this point, um, no, I don't think that is going to be the case. Not uh, even though Biden wins or Donald Trump wins. Uh, these are the most valuable, most popular stocks in the world, and people will buy them at a discount. So it is this or some other crappy stock, and most people basically buy this at this point entry here target 50 moving average and then these highs 
technical indicators are not looking very um, promising at this point, but we are expecting a further fall in Amazon stock. Tesla is turning around. It found support here at 381. Uh, this is not, a, we tried to rally, but pulled back. But I I think at this point we are going to go higher. It is also cheap to buy Tesla stock at the moment. We're at the 27. And technical news are turning around. So uh, an entry here would be at the 50 moving average as target. And then afterwards, these highs of 465. After that, the very highs here. Break below, break below this, then it opens the door to 350. Facebook fell 2% today, found this support here at the 100 moving average. And at this point, I think that we probably could go lower. We are not oversold in the Facebook stock. So we could find resistance here at a support here and turn around, but uh, we could also go lower and, and we would target these lows if uh, we are going lower. And that means that we are going to go towards the 150 moving average. So technical indicators are fairly bearish at this point, so that may well be the case. If you rally here, then the 50 moving average uh, just above at uh, 270 will be um, will be uh, resistant, and then the 286 level will be resistant. So we look at Google. Google fell as we uh, expected. It rallied significantly uh, last week, but. Google looks like a stock that is behaving similar to the other major tech stocks, just in a delay. Uh, other tech stocks have had this double top here, or very similar to a double top, and then they have fallen. So what I expect from Google at this point is that we fall towards the 50 moving average, probably break that, go towards the 100 moving average, and maybe the 150 moving average. We are at 55. It is not... Uh, is not cheap at the moment it's not expensive technical indicators are looking quite uh, well mixed so this is stock that you should wait for in order to buy break above this opens the door to the highest but at this point i would buy it try to buy it as cheap as possible so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by clicking the subscribe button hit the bell button and the like button in order to see our newest videos and uh, and you're welcome to join us on Patreon. A lot of people have already joined and are trading uh, with our trading signals. So, uh, good luck and thank you very much.